Look, I've been trying for like an hour now to make a proper response to TJ's latest video on being in the middle of society. And I've tried addressing everything point by point, but it's incredibly tedious. And basically the entirety of his video can be summed up by this. What do you guys suppose the whole of humanity is closer to? Carl Sagan or Snooki? And this. I have to be honest enough with myself to realize that I'm not Christopher Hitchens, I'm not Carl Sagan, I'm not George Carlin, I'm not any of the great men that I admire, nor am I Snooky or Santorum or any of those people who are content with their ignorance. I'm somewhere in between, and I imagine that most of the people watching this video, the people who comprise my audience, you're somewhere in between too. But at least we can say this for ourselves. We're trying. We aspire. We want to be greater. We wish we were the great men we admire. We're not, and we probably never fucking will be, but at least we recognize that this is better than this. I'm the Amazing Atheist. Now, Yes, I can address every single point that he made in the video, but it is, in the end, irrelevant because it all harkens back to, in order to judge humanity, he bas must basically judge himself as part of it, and in doing so, he's in the middle somehow, and he feels that, you know, through his questioning, it's obvious that he feels that um, we are more like Snooki than like Sagan, and I contend that we are like both. After all, they are both human. I am human. TJ is human. We are all fucking human. See what you do to me? You put shit in my eye and now I can't get it out. You see, and the thing is, is there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing inherently wrong with um, being human and being a part of this collective experience. And I feel like it is summed fairly adequately by Saul Rosenberg 84 in this clip. Hey folks, it's Saul Rosenberg 84 here. Uh... I have done so many goddamn videos on religion. I think I've done too many videos on religion at this point. Uh, but there's kind of one last kind of statement I'd like to make about all this, uh, all the crap I've talked about, which is we're all stupid. And this is something that you really have to remember as we go through life. And at various points in your life, you're going to be reminded about just how stupid you really are. I mean, uh, the way I kind of like to imagine human beings as is that we're all pretty much functionally retarded. But we're good at, like, one or two things. We're really good at that. And so we're all good at, like, one or two things, and we're retarded at everything else. But just because we're able to talk to each other, we make up for it. But still, as a group, we act like retards, which pretty much explains everything that happens on Earth. I mean, so whenever you get depressed about, like, how the world is going, you're like, how can it get this way? Please remember that this whole thing was constructed ad hoc by apes. This is why everything is fucked up. We're trying our hardest, but we're not that smart. We get in the way of ourselves. It's hard. And so a lot of people that have this kind of discussion about religion, I still hear this like condescending, like, ah, all religious people are stupid. Well, yeah, they are stupid, but so are you. And this is, this is kind of an important point to get to, because it kind of removes this, this us versus them, which is inherent to this topic. And you're still going to feel it whenever you're discussing this. You're still going to have to deal with that feeling, because our brains are wired for us versus them. This is how our fucking ancestors survive. Everyone in my village I know is good. I don't know you. Fucking kill him. Look, TJ, it's obvious that society's got you down, man. It's obvious that the way the world is has gotten you down. But look, you're looking at it from the wrong point of view. You're looking at it as an American. You're looking at it as, like, uh, th that the world is shit because all you see on, on TV or all you see on the Internet, which I am assuming are American sites, American news sources, you're, you're seeing all the violence and you're seeing all the hatred and you're seeing all the angst and terror and... What are you trying to do? You're trying to separate yourself from this. You're trying to separate yourself from Snooki, and you're acknowledging that you're not Sagan, so you're like, I'm here. You're not. You are both of them. You are Snooki. You are Sagan because you are human. You need to understand that. You are not different. You are a part of a collective experience. There are other people that are smarter than you. There are other people that are dumber than you. There are other people that are as intelligent as you. There are other people that are more charismatic, more humorous. There are people that are less charismatic and less humorous. It doesn't matter, because they are all human. I honestly feel that addressing you point by point in this video, in this latest video, is a waste of time. After all, I, it only harkened back to my initial point that we are a part of a collective experience. We are, we can all relate to each other on that level. 
that we are a part of a, a condition that is integral to making us who we are today. And if we understand that, if we understand that we come from a society and that our morals and values are a reaction or interaction with said society, no matter what society it is, we can relate to one another on that level knowing that, yes, we may come from different backgrounds. Yes, I may agree or disagree with you, but I understand you and I understand where you come from because I come from the same thing. And although it is different when you look at it, in a two-dimensional form, it is the same thing. I come from a society that has embedded values in me, that has made me react to other people in a specific manner. I come from a family that reacts to the society in a specific way. And my interactions with that family and their interactions with said society and my interactions filtered through my family through my early years with society and directly with society have made me who I am today. I cannot deny this, and neither can you, nor can anyone else on the planet, unless they're incredibly ignorant. And if you understand that, and that is fundamental, then you understand that Snooki and Sagan are from the same system. And that must be appreciated. And if there are, and if there are aspects of it that you disagree with, or that you are not content with, you must look at that. And you must say to yourself, why am I not content with this? What about this? disgruntles me? What about this disgusts me? What about this angers and irritates me? Instead of comparing negatives, your negatives with society's negative, negatives, and instead of trying to disassociate yourself from that, you need to look at your positives. And you need to look at why you feel society in this manner is not positive. It is arbitrary to try and compare Jeffrey Dahmer's love for his grandparents to his serial killing tendencies because you are looking at the details and totally ignoring the bigger picture. It is arbitrary to focus on the stupidity of Snooki and then contend that it is silly to look at the brilliance of people like Carl Sagan or Socrates when looking at the bigger picture. Basically, man, get your fucking priorities straight. You're human. Understand that first, and then you can judge humanity.